buy it. What the fuck do you mean? Yeah, I know. I've never used it before. I don't have the mic bro. Okay, it's doomed. I cannot plug the guy on. <laughs> Look at Ryan's face. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's face. Oh my god, he's like, what the I fuck? Start so the yeah, this guy and team, Alfred, uh, Fabian, Ryan is here to do content as well. Ryan. Ryan's in the toilet. Ryan's in the toilet, okay. Right? So it's uh, pretty cool to have them down here today. And then um, as well, together with um, Remonji, of course, yeah. the, 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 the space, right? The event. Bottom, so, we're out to Tony. Ow. One turn.
Rolling. Alright, I'm, we just concluded the Diamond GX SFK event, Chinese New Year event. And now here we have Noah with us. Hello. We'll be doing like a sort of short interview regarding his performance at the event, which he actually did pretty well for. He went 4-0 with... Yep. With? With Blue Duffy. Alright, so why don't you like go through with us, like how did you do at the event? Maybe some of your matchups, what were you expecting, why you chose to play Blue Duffy? Yeah, since it's like a pretty fresh meta game, right? OPO7. Right. right. Yep. Right, uh, so today we had four rounds of Swiss. So um, in total, I played against, uh, my first round was against Red Purple Law. Next, Sakazuki, followed by Green Uta and Law. So coming into this event, I thought, um, why not try something old with, with new stuff? So basically, Doffy, because I've been playing Doffy since OPO 1, and then on and off during OPO 2 as well. And matchup wise, I think I didn't expect it to do really well against Red Purple Law. I, I think the matchup's like 50 50. Yeah, so that was my first round and my last round. So basically, the, the strategy is just to spam Jinbei. Yeah, and that's how I won my Red Purple Law matchup, as well as my Sakazuki game. Yeah, for the Green Uta, I won because I played the 10-cost uh, Kaido, the one that bounces the 8-cost kit and another blocker. Yeah, so that's how it went, roughly. Oh, so pretty, like, pretty meta matchups, in my opinion. Like RP yeah. Law, Sakazuki, not too bad. Like a new deck performing, like, pretty... Up to par with all these decks. How like how did you feel about the Sakazuki matchup? Since uh, we would think that Sakazuki is like the king of the OPO six OPO five format, right? Yeah, uh, I think uh, to win Sakazuki, you need to have bot presence, which is why Jinbei is really important. So each time your Jinbei goes into the trash, you just recycle it using your Gecko Moria, adding it back to hand, and you're just spamming your bot. Yeah, and that's how I won. And also, Hancock six cost Hancock is really strong. Yeah, so should have that in Doffy deck as well. Okay, so like most of the cards that Blue has gotten this set actually seems to be power-ups for them. Like Boa right. Hancock, on itself, it can like kind of block two attacks. Right. Can stun one card and maybe bot deck another one. Though maybe not as effective for Blue because you can't really have cost reducers. Right. So you can't really target those like big threats. But you can definitely just stun something like as big as a 10 cost Ace, for example, yeah. right? Yeah, so also Jinbei. Jinbei's huge upgrade, yeah. huge upgrade for Blue Doflamingo. Just Jinbei alone. Yeah. yeah, just Jinbei alone. Helps you give these matchups an edge, right? right? RP Law, even like, let's say, even Enel, like Gadatsu can't just clear like one card on the board, yeah. right? You can swarm two cards. And you just said, Gekko Moria. Yeah. Best card in Dofi, right? Yeah. Free, 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 free resource, resource management. Right? Yeah. Any deck with Gekko Moria, good. <laughs> Gekko is just a broken character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even in black. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that concludes uh, sort of our interview with Noah. And congrats to him for going 4-0 at the event and actually walking back home with a uh, binder, right? Oh, yeah. from, lucky, from our duck race. So hope to see uh, more content creators attend like our next upcoming events that we have planned, which we will try to host in the near future. Hopefully, maybe uh, every, once, once every new set comes around, so at least people can have like a, sort of have like a place for them to play their new decks. And in our case, it will be, it's just day, technically day one of OPO7. Right. Yeah, so pretty fresh format. Look, uh, very excited to see how the meta game evolves. Hopefully, it's not as just streamlined as Yellow and Now because ten cost is right? right. Direct upgrade to the deck. So we're hoping the meta game evolves, sort of like how every meta game does. So we'll see. We'll see. What are your thoughts on the OPO Seven meta game currently? Yeah, I think Sakazuki remains at the top, but the one that got new support would be Anel. I think that Tenkos Ace is really good in Anel, so I I would see that to be the next best deck in format. Just my opinion. Yeah, and other than that, everything else is just below the two decks, Anel and Saka. Right. So that's Noah's opinion on the OPO Seven meta game. So glad to know uh, that. Content creators such as Noah himself and even Ashraf, who is here today attending the event. Not really attending, but he did come and watch. But yeah, hope to see these people around in the near future. So, yep, that's all for our interview. Thank you, Noah, for joining us. Thank you for having and, me. Yep, and thank you, everyone, for actually participating in the event. Since this is our first event that we're hosting, we're hoping to do great things moving on. That's all. See ya. Bye.